happy to be here at the Seismic Design Competition here in San Francisco. And uh, we're getting ready to shake our tower and hopefully uh, we have the result of our hard work that we've all put together. I think ERI is an awesome experience for, for people interested in structural engineering. And I think this is a great place to, uh, to hold it as it's awesome and, and a great experience for the kids outside of the competition as well. We test with the two grand motions and see if they survive. We compare our performance predictions with the actual measurements and see who does the best. It's really exciting to watch everyone get up there and be nervous and just be excited when, when they survive. This is gonna be one exciting day. After you finish putting the rods, you are going to take your model and put it on the shake table and then we will take it from there. Good luck to everyone, hopefully we all enjoy it and remember to have fun today. very long way to be here and you have no idea how much I appreciate that personally and I know that everybody at EERI and the whole profession has an incredible regard for that. After testing and working for months at the university, the students come to the U.S. to shake the structure and to see how the structure will perform with an earthquake. So it is a great opportunity for undergrad students to learn a lot. They go beyond what they see in their undergrad courses, but also to develop skills they wouldn't develop by going to school regularly. They work really hard in groups. They do things they've never done before. International students, for example, get to travel outside the countries for the first time, most of them. And they come to the U.S. to see practitioners, to see other students, and to start being part of this amazing family that's ERI. Uh, my name is uh, Mohamed Ibrahim. Uh, I'm from uh, Egypt. Uh, my university is uh, Helwan University. We're so excited and uh, we're the only team from Egypt and from Africa and Middle East. We're, uh, we're very excited to be, we're honored to be I'm uh, out, of the, out of my country and uh, I'm uh, very excited and uh, our uh, model survived uh, the shaking. We're, uh, we're so happy that, uh, that, uh, that our model uh, <laughs> remained one piece. He's alive! He's alive!
especially those coming from like the Dominican Republic, what was I don't know, in Turkey. Yeah. Coming Turkey. those and they probably had their share of adversity with travel. But it's really interesting to see pure passion. The model didn't arrive on time, you know, all that work, but since it got here. Uh, our mood changed, yeah, he gladly made it here, and there's nothing greater than this for me. Um, I, I know my team is happy for everything that's happened. Uh, this, when we went to buy the second shape, I, I couldn't hold my emotions, so I kind of cry a little bit, but it, it's amazing. I can't describe it with words. The best lesson we learned is that together and with the prayers, you know, uh, we are a team and we make it possible. Man, uh, being honest, I was about to die. I was so nervous, I was crying, I don't know how to feel. I just was so anxious, I don't know what to expect. But then on the final, I was so glad. I was so proud of my teammates and I'm glad right now. I'm so happy, I can't even explain it. Our ground motion one looked good, maybe one or two members cracked, but our ground motion two uh, kind of cracked off the base plate. I think it's a lot to do with our, uh, our foundation and our structure in the, in the lower end. Uh, will obviously uh, impact how our, how our building performs in the, in the higher end as well. So it's not just thinking about the whole structure, but mainly focusing on uh, things from the ground up. I think it's, it's super important. But we move and we come back next year stronger. Chasing after what matters Your heart knows where to go If the moon gives a present The sun stops it shining We were expecting this one to collapse too, and it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. It held up. It held up just like all of us, our whole team, and everyone else coming out here. There's cracks, there's, there's burns, there's... It's a little messy. Yeah, it's a little it's messy. Long. It's a little crooked. You can see it's kind of like us little tears on the floor. <laughs> clear on the top. It's it's just um just as beautiful as this team. Yeah. Just getting to this point, it's a lot. It's a lot. Very overwhelming and very intense. It was a roller coaster of emotions, yeah. the suffering, the hard work, the sleepless the nights, the fights. Yeah. And it was also like a unison of all of that that made us really emotional and tear up. And the fact that we're not only representing ourselves, we're representing our university, our country, the our Caribbean, parents. The Caribbean. The Caribbean, our parents that put us through all of this so that we could be here today. All of our sponsors, all of our um, teachers that help us, yeah. professors that help us, that give us the, the same teammates. time, the other teammates. You define the future of our profession. You are the ones that are gonna take earthquake engineering to even a higher level. You're in the business of saving lives. So here, today's event, it's a celebration of our profession, but more importantly, it's a celebration of each and every one of you. <laughs> The Student Leadership Council wanted to celebrate this wonderful success. We had 19 Student Leadership Council members from 13 different universities represented, 34 competing teams, all of you in here, that spanned nine countries, five continents, 13 U.S. states, so incredible diversity and I really appreciate so many of you coming so far and working so very hard to compete. And of course, uh, the competition wouldn't be possible without our financial sponsors. This year, for our third place, the University of California, San Diego. Uh, this year, for second place, University of Buffalo. And this year, the first place award goes to the Technical University of Cleveland. We 
had a lot of hardships to overcome. We didn't only learn engineering. This contest being such a complex contest, we learned in life, in uh, communications, in fundraising, in being a team captain, being a leader. Yeah, we learned a lot. We are grateful for that. It's hard to believe that we from Romania can do this. Faculties like Cornell, Berkeley, UCLA, that we are looking up to and we are very proud of us for competing with them. Having students planting the seed of becoming the future generation of vertical engineers and having them being part of a family while they're here and they're sending that, they're designing buildings for people and therefore their classmates, new friends they make here are the most important part of their career. For me that's life changing. Yeah! Well, it makes us feel so happy. I honestly, I can't even like, I don't even have words right now, honestly. <laughs> but I'm just so excited. Well, I'm very happy and proud of, of all my team. Uh, we, I think we did a lot of hard work, and I think, I don't know, we're just so happy. <laughs> One, two, three, go! I'll tell you what, CSI knows exactly how hard you work. You are the future, and we are all here, the Ashraf All-Stars included, because of one man and one man only. It's true. The man who does celebrate you, the man that sees your future, the man that knows that you are going to be carrying on an amazing tradition that, that Ashraf and CSI have started. <laughs>